online, even more opportunities exist for tagging your information. Using Blogger or most other blogging platforms, you can add tags or labels to your blog posts. You can tag your emails to sort them quickly. On music listening services such as Last FM, you can add tags to the music you listen to. On Flickr, you can tag your uploaded photos. This picture shows tags on a Flickr photo. This picture shows tags being added to a post on Blogger. Now watch this short video to see tagging content on Flickr and then another to watch tagging with Blogger. Here you can see that I've created an account on Flickr and I've uploaded some vacation photos. So let's have a look at adding some tags. I've added some tags already but we'll add more. So let's look at this picture of a swan. As you can see, I've already tagged it as being on the Norfolk Broads, being a swan and being from summer 2010. I'm going to add an England tag. And then I'm going to move to the next one in my photo stream. And this one, I've typed, I've put some things in, but again, I'm going to add the England tag. And next. Again, I'll add the England tag. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add a geotag to my photo. Add this photo to your map and edit the photo location and it's in Norwich. Drag it so that that's, hmm, I guess it's over here more on the Norfolk Broads because we did drive to get to it. I don't know if that's precisely its location. I don't remember the name of the little town. So we'll call that good enough. So now let's go back to my photo stream and let's uh, find a geotag. Let me see, find a New York picture. I could search my tags. Here's one. And let's add it. Let's put a map tag on it. It's going to be quite a ways from Norfolk, so we'll zoom out. And zoom. Here we are, here's New York itself, right in the middle. This is actually in Central Park. My geography of New York is extremely hazy. So we'll zoom in and see if we can manage any better. Here it is, getting in close enough to see what's what. Perfect. Now we're beginning to see. And there's that little binky island with so many people on it. And there's Central Park right there. There. Fine. So now Let's go to home and I want to search for other pictures of Central Park. I've tagged one. Let's see how many we have. 
386,849 photos of New York and 23,841 of Central Park. So there should be plenty, yes? And I'm not even going to try and find mine because that's way too many to look for. So that's a little overview of Flickr. One last thing I want to show you on, on Flickr. If I come to my photo stream, I just want to show you that I have put, anyone can see this photo for my permissions. That's because I want to be able to see, um, I want to be able to show it to you for the class. I'm not sure you're going to want to do that. You may want to make sure that only you, your friends, and your family can do that. I think that would be better for you. I'm going to leave mine as public, but for you, I think only you, your friends, and your family would be a much safer option, and we will, um, we will make friends on Flickr, at least temporarily, so that I can see your settings. Okay. So this is Flickr. It's very fun, very useful. In this short video, I want to show you how to add tags or in Google speak labels to blog entries. So if you go to the blog you created in the last um, couple of last quarter and click the design tab, and if you click, um, first of all, let's add a new blog. So I'll go to the post, a new post. I'll go to the posting tab and I'll add a post that I composed earlier. And down here, I'm going to put labels onto this post. Bookmarks, bookmarks, I'll publish it. So <clears throat> I'm going to click on edit posts. Should you want to add tags? So this is a draft that I did earlier, I'll just delete that. Okay, if you want to add tags or labels to a post you've already done, you can just choose it and choose edit. So I could add, for example, the school tag to this one. Okay, so let's quickly view the blog. And there's the post I just made with the new tags. And here's the older posts that I had created, including the original one, which I went back to and added tags to. And they are called labels in all of the Google applications. And Blogger, of course, is one of those. Okay, so going back to design, I now want to add a tag cloud to this. So I'm going to click add a gadget. And if I scroll down, here's the, um, oh, where did it go? Okay, we're going to choose the labels gadget. And I want to show a cloud and I want it sorted by frequency. I'm going to have all the labels and because it's a cloud I don't need to have the number of posts per label because in a cloud the frequently used tags are larger. So let's click save and then let's come to view the blog and here's my labels and you'll see class is the most commonly used one, school, blog, bookmarks, categories, labels, tags. I'm going to choose for example bookmarking and only the last post shows. If I choose class, they should all three show because I used that on all of them. Let's use web 2.0, click web 2.0, and there's just the first one. Okay, so tags allow you to sort and group on a blog just as they do in Flickr or on your local hard drive.